I'm the Advanced Analytics Manager on our on the Hills Insights Analytics team. I've been at Colgate for almost 12 years. I am the Associate Director of Global Digital Measurement and I work on the Global Digital Organization. I have been at Colgate for about two years now. I'm an Associate Director in North America Analytics and I've been here for six years now. I'm a data scientist in the Predictive Analytics group and I've been with Colgate for technically three years. Our team brings like a fresh perspective to the table, which is really important when you are working on new innovations and new ideas. Uh, our goal really here is to um, develop, help those innovation teams develop stronger concepts ahead of emerging trends so that they are able to build stronger concepts, stronger innovations, um, and more incremental innovations, and to have more confidence behind their investment decisions as well. Focus on media effectiveness. I think that you know we've done a really fabulous job in the past of optimizing our return on investment. So really, how can we drive more sales with the media that we're doing today? But I think, especially as our objective becomes much um, kind of more strategic than sales. So how can we drive longer-term benefits? How do we drive household penetration? How do we think about how we grow equity? Then we've kind of started to realize that we need to be leveraging other KPIs as well. And so we've really been able to build this great holistic story of you know, when we're trying to drive awareness or when we're trying to go deeper in the funnel and drive loyalty, um, kind of where we focus on these more specific KPIs and kind of look at the others as secondary instead of trying to look at everything all at once. So I think the biggest place that I've been able to impact kind of the strategy in a, in a whole is working on our brand growth plans. What's our strategies for the next five years to really grow um, in all different areas of margin and net sales and retail sales and share as well. So one of the biggest challenges I think in analytics is just how do you make it more accessible to everyone? We may be looking at different modeling projects and maybe working exclusively with data scientists and that doesn't always help us. You know, these numbers or the models don't always turn into opportunities if we can't interpret them. And that's a huge part of my job is just kind of being the translator. So in, um, in the absence of having any kind of analytics products or solutions that uh, is gonna answer a question of what is our ROI for all our digital investments, I went ahead um, and built a prototype all by myself on, a, uh, on one of our analytics products called Domo. Um, and basically I showed that, that this is what it will look like if we get all the data across all, all of our markets. And that was a great light, light bulb moment for our team because you know just showing them the potential of uh, what we can get when we have our data in the right place and also we can get the learnings out of it. Um, so I put together this new MMM tool that's a global solution from the center um, and it's not only for uh, our global teams. It was, it was also meant to democratize our learnings across our um, counterparts were in the divisions and markets. So that was one of the solutions that I uh, launched um, and, and you know like it was a massive success. Uh, the, it launched this year, earlier this year and currently I'm partnering with our global analytics team as well to scale it across other markets. And this has allowed faster decision making. Like when you have um, insights and learnings in different pockets in isolation, they don't do much, but when you bring them together and build a holistic view, it, it's, it's a game changing for us as an organization.